Here we go. Ho, 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 ho. 25 Slays of Christmas. 25 Slays of Christmas. We're there. It's the 25th Slay. We've done it. We've reached the end. Merry Christmas. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, if that's what you do. Uh, what's the other ones, man? All of them. Celebrate all, all of them. Happy all the holidays. Happy all the fuggy holidays. Kwanzaa. From Chase and Shep. Both of us, man. We gave you some Christmas presents this year. We gave you a free CD. We gave you a website. We gave you a 25 Slays series all month long. All month long. All month long. We've been at this all month long watching Christmas horror movies. But you know how, fu- you know how terrible it, not It's not been terrible, but you know <laughs> how, like... Stressful it is to, to be at work, and I work in retail, so all day I hear Christmas music just blasting in my ear. And then I go home, and I have to hear it a lot more in the, all these movies. Hands every down, movie, Silent Night, every movie. Of um, any year ever, this is the most Christmas movies I've watched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only oh, because yeah. we set out to watch like all these Christmas horror movies. And like, because I, we had these 25 Christmas horror movies to watch. But it's like, I got other Christmas yeah, stuff I gotta watch it. too. So I got Christmas stuff I've been, too. I've been trying to hit some other Christmas movies along the way. So it's just like, this is hands down most Christmas movies ever watched in my life. This is life. the most I've Christmas since I've been a child. Yeah. But we're at Slay 25. Slay 25. Slay 25. Christmas Day pick. And honestly, like I said earlier, I feel like it was a good pick. I feel like a, good it was pick. a great pick for the Christmas Ten Day. years old this year. Ten years old. Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. Rare exports and, and and it delivers. It was worth it the wait. delivers on that export of goods, my man. We've like, waited all twenty five slays. I've waited ten years <laughs> since this movie first came out. Yeah, this was uh, definitely like first on the list, first one we talked about, and I think we pretty much it was. Yeah. I think when we first started doing this, we decided that was the like, first that's going to be one we're going to wait. We need to sit down and we need to watch that one together. Yeah, I said that yeah. before we even started. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like. Man, that was it. Was interesting. It was a very like because we I feel watched like it was the deepest of it, all of them that we would watched. And we watched the trailer, and I did not like. I thought, okay, we're gonna get like some psychopathic Santas coming and shit. Okay, that's cool. Whatever, another one of those. But like, wow, different, very right. different than that. From the trailers, I thought it was like a Krampus uh, angle yeah. to it. I thought like uh, that they had captured Krampus and all this other stuff and believed it was Santa Claus and. Again, I was impressed by not having Better Watch Out not spoil for me for four years. I am even more impressed that I've gone ten years without having this movie spoiled for me. Right. It's very, very, uh, like you said, deep, and it's it's pretty dope. Like, yeah. I had a nice a nice ending to it, if you ask me. It did. I And uh, it kind of explains where the title comes from, where the yeah. title comes into play. Explains uh, a lot about the Christmas time, uh, like little bits and pieces if you really It was just it was just it. very as a, as a film, it was just a quality thing. I mean, it was just a quality uh, oh, yeah, like piece of entertainment. It high was budget, deep. it was yeah. emotional, had a good uh production value. And it had sure. you hooked, man. It had you hooked. Like like I said, we've watched 25 of these so far. 25 of these and this one I was still interested in it. There's been like a few uh, that when we just would we just do the other day the older one Christmas Evil Christmas Evil get yeah. into it man. It's like yeah. maybe if we'd watch that one at the beginning but like this one it yeah. was like dude this it's, was the perfect yeah. because it didn't it wasn't like real up and cheesy about Christmas. It was the Christmas was there but like obviously the family and it's like a poor family so it's like you don't have like the kids all hype and wanting this and wish lists and this and that and big family dinners and shit it's just the kid and his dad you know what I mean throughout most of this movie and the kid's a little bit of a weirdo that happens to know a lot about Santa Claus and like oh gee old timey folk Santa Claus not the Coca Cola Santa Claus as he's referred to as one point yeah he does he does uh, drop that he's not the Coca Cola uh, mascot uh, this does. There's a lot of good lines in this movie. I feel like there a lot were. of good lines were dropped in this movie, and it was all in Finnish, uh, right? Yeah, it was. A, it was a Finnish movie. So there's subtitles. If that's not your thing, then yeah. If it's not, if subtitles ain't your cup of tea, then this they're not me. really my cup of tea, to tell you the truth. But like, I was with it. Yeah. Easily, and I keep coming back to this. This is easily the most dramatic of the of the 25 we've watched. The oh, most yeah. like layered emotional film of, of all of them. Oh yeah. It, it has some genuinely like creepy shit in it. For sure. Yeah, there's not a lot of slaying that goes through it. Uh, a lot of slaying dicks. Yeah. Uh, oh, a lot of lots of them. Lots of old man dicks. Spoilers. Spoilers. That's not your thing. 
I, I was I was definitely complaining the whole time. I'm like, man, come on. This is like the opposite of most slasher movies. 25 wings at Christmas. And 25 wings. <laughs> Rare exports. Wings. Fuck it. Man. Nah. Uh, so, yeah. Like, we're going to get it. Let's get into this one. Spoilers and stuff. So, if you don't want them, you ain't seen it yourself, cut it off. Uh, but, yeah. You come and find out what. The old man that we know as Santa Claus is the elf. Right? Yeah. He's, he's an elf. He's an yeah. elf. So, like, if you, you know, all the traditional Santas and stuff, that's just all of his helpers. Those are his elves. So the actual Santa is like this. Fucking... When you do finally see Santa at the end, um, you've been with this creepy-ass old guy this whole time. And you've been thinking he's Santa this he, whole time. And you believe that he's Santa. Because he's weird. And that's where I get this Krampus vibe from and everything. Uh, but then you find out that there's a lot more of him and that he is simply just an elf. Which honestly makes it even creepier. <laughs> Especially when all the other elves show up. That's when the dicks come into play. Yeah, because it's like, uh, this guy's naked, but they find him outside, so you're like, all right, Santa. All the elves are just naked. Yeah, all Santa gets broken out of ice, he's naked. That makes sense. Okay, I, I, I can fuck with that. Since he's been frozen <laughs> since way, way back, probably before clothes were invented. Okay. But then when you find out it's an elf, yeah, it's like, ooh, wait. It's super so there's more of those guys? Like, yeah, they are and, very and They're all just running around naked in the snow, and you're just like, ooh, my hell? The frostbite uh, factor. Um, but then when you do see Santa, he is like a more Krampus like figure with these big ass horns and, uh, uh, and he's frozen like, in yeah, a block of ice. I will say, uh, there was a part of me that wanted to see it. Like, I wanted to see Santa before uh, they. Well, see, but I think they did good, man, because you got to think they were probably balling on a budget. Uh -huh. So it's like, man, what's a, what's a good way? To, to do like, it, but to, not. To, yeah, to yeah. do it, but not. But so that you see Santa and it's huge, and you're like, Jesus you see the horn, you get the idea. You yeah. get the idea without ever seeing him unfrozen from the ice. Yeah, um, because they show in that little kid's book, he shows a picture of Santa, and he's like the size of a mountain, basically, like picking up a man, like, eh, yeah. in the book. So, like, he can get big. Yeah, he was big. Well, yeah. Well, and then, but I, I feel like all the other little yeah. depictions in his book that he was seeing of, like, the Santa holding the kid over the yeah. boiling water is the elves. So, you know, something else that you said there at the end of this was, like, imagine watching this when you were a kid. Like, this would have been dope as fuck. And honestly, like, I did get that feeling of, like, he does have that vibe of, like, a, a Christmas movie. Like, Oh, the, no, he does. It's yeah. like, yes, like, the, the Christmas magic, the Christmas spirit. Well, by the like, time that little kid starts... Swinging around on the swinging and, and shooting like, his gun and being like, "No, y'all listen to me. I've been right this whole time." Yeah, so you're like, like, "I know what's up about Santa Claus. Y'all yeah. listen to me." And you're just kind of like, "Yeah, like I don't know. It's just something about it. It does make you feel like, uh, like you're watching a Christmas movie." No, yeah, it does. It's like those. It's those kids' tales, man. It's like it's like how Disney tried to sell us as kids. Like we're like. You know, you got this kid, he wants to be like the grown ups and stuff. Right. He's trying to go around with the big, you know, the kid that's older than him is and his dad and do all this shit. And like you see him like get pushed out of the way by his dad and fall on the ground and stuff like that earlier in the movie. So when you have this moment at the end where the kid's doing all this shit and he jumps off to die, like basically he thinks these elves are going to kill him and then they don't because they end up killing Santa, vice versa at the same time. Yeah. So the elves are just like, oh shit, that evil motherfucker ain't controlling us no more, so we don't know what to do. And the kid lives, and you're just like, hell yeah, dude. Like, I'm with that. And then it's like... The that was also interesting. Like, no, nobody died. Which was cool because I was rooting for all the characters. There was nobody in this movie that I wanted to die. There were... The, each and every single one I of guess, I, I, guess, was like, yeah. I was rooting for him. It's, I was it like, was, I want you, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it kind of was like a child in a, movie. In a weird because way, the only people like, that died were the pieces of shit blowing up the earth. Yeah, like, it, it really, in a weird way, is like this like family Christmas movie. If you took out... All of the old man elf dicks, you could totally yeah. sit down and watch this with your family. Christmas. Yeah, if you got like a fucked up family that likes to watch Christmas <laughs> horror movies, it would that be a good, it would be a good pick. I, yeah, I think I I think it would have been fine uh, for cover, me. As cover a cover the kiddos' eyes. I mean, when the elves come yeah, around, I'd have been like, yeah. yeah, you know, it's not too or bad. Great it's not too bad movie. when they're outside. It's it's at the end where the, when they decide. Oh shit! We got a hundred and eight Santa, or like Santas now, basically is what they figure, and you know that's the exports, and that's where you see the dick, because then they're in those fucking showers washing them. When it's outside, it's shadowy. <laughs> it's cold. Well, outside. yeah, it's shadowy. You can't, you can't really you you know the dude's naked, but you don't get to see him like fully, man. At the end in the shower, you have to see it fully. Like to uh, quote, we were talking. It's always sunny, you know. It's like, uh, what's the shit? What's that movie they always go watching? That uh, uh, Thunder Gun. Uh, 
They always got a hang wang and thunder gun. <laughs> Seems like rare exports took that nod and said, yeah, we'll do it. It. <laughs> I honestly felt like here we are, 25 slays in, and uh, <coughs> classic classic horror movie trope is, is ex- exposure of breasts throughout True. horror movies. It's like, oh, there's the boobs, there's the boobs. So when I saw, when there's that scene in this movie, and all the elves are just cresting the hill, like, <laughs> and just like like a wave of old guys and just their dicks out. They're all like, old. Yeah. I'm just like, there there is a dick for every uh, tit we've seen in fucking the 25 seconds. Yeah, so yeah, we got it. We got it. Was, it ba- here comes the balance. It just came and literally crested over the hill. The yin and yang. Uh, with, with with pickaxes and uh, it was it was a beautiful moment. Thanos would have been <laughs> proud. Only on Christmas Day. He perfectly balanced as <laughs> all things should be. You know. So what uh what kind of score are you giving this one? Man? For this one, uh, I think uh, I'm gonna have to go about the same way I did with Fat Man. Go eight point five. Eight point five. Eight point five. I this was worth the wait, man. Ten years. I've been meaning to get around to this, and just for one reason or another, have never sat down to watch it. And I'm glad I did. It surprised me. Uh, I still didn't know what to expect after ten years, and it was a solid, solid uh, choice for Christmas. I go uh, eight out of ten myself. Yeah. Feel the same, man. I feel like this was a very solid movie, uh, very good on the Christmas. Wish it was a little bit heavier on the killing, but like I said, they killed the evil corporation guys. I'm pretty sure in that entire movie, those are the only people that die. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So go for it. Reindeer. Some innocent reindeer. Yeah, the reindeer, but they were gonna die anyway. Yeah, maybe they were pricks. So. so well, the elves had to eat. <laughs> True. And I think that's probably. I well, you know what that actually makes a lot of sense because there was a hundred and something reindeers and there ended up being a hundred and something elves so yeah. they did probably have an elf for a reindeer and they just ate them all because they was hungry but yeah 805 great movie would watch again probably add it to the list maybe not just because of the finish you know yeah. added like like little asterisk at the end of the christmas list like if you got time and you really want to again psh, i feel like i feel like next year we, we can Hit you with a more comprehensive list, yeah, and and even give you like a, a schedule planned out. Here's here's the best way to watch your movies from day one all the way to day twenty five, Christmas Day. Yeah, and that way you'll you'll get your balance. You'll know when to watch the best ones, the worst ones. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll 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 do the curating for you. We we'll yeah. won't have to wait till next year. Yeah, we got three hundred and sixty four. Well, not even three hundred. What thirty four days. Until we start, Meh. Yeah, thirty-nine. I hear what you're saying. Three hundred and thirty-nine <laughs> days. Math, math. It's hard. Probably we'll be back. Math. Like, yeah. Wait, this. Yeah, it's not a leap year, so we're good. We had a leap year. Yeah, this was. The best um. So yeah, twenty-five slays. Man. Twenty-five slays at Christmas. We. Fin- we're glad to be to the end. We deserve this one. We deserve this one. We. That do. was. Um, you deserve this one. If you if started, you with started us, if you did this with us, you deserve it too. You deserve it more. I don't than care us. if it's if you did it this year. I don't care if you're watching this in the future, in the past. I don't give a shit. Or half Christmas. I I, I don't care. Yeah. It's, I it's, just hope uh, you had a good time with it. I do too, man. I, I I think I had a great time. With it. I did, even though you know I got a little older at the end. I had I had a fun time. I'm glad we ended up doing this. I'm glad we ended up. It doing was a, this too. a great way to kick things off. So I think what the next video we're gonna hit you with some slays, right? Let's hit them with so, some slays. Yeah, and we're not quite done with our twenty-five slays. We gotta wrap up all season one of the Chase and Ship show. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get you with them, the the last slays of the week. Get you with your bonus episodes. We'll get you with the slays of the week. We'll get you with a little recap on the twenty-five slays. Look back at the best of the best. Pick our favorite slays, our favorite Santas. And I got my Here what Aaron's question. mystery question is. At long last. I, I think still I'm looking to the, forward to that more than anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, we still got it coming up. So there's still just a little bit more, and then there might be a, a little something else. There you might be know. a little even more, man. Uh, we, yeah, you never know. We've, we've, <laughs> we've only been saying it all month long. Slay on Slayers. Slay on Slayers. Yeah. So, and that's all we've been doing. And it's like every other day we come up with something We intend on else. it. Yeah. We, we absolutely intend on it going into the new year. So yes, we're going to hit you with these bonuses. And then we'll see you in the new year. Yeah, we'll see you really soon.